Littlefield was a tiny village where people didn't even get fines for illegal parking. But one day, something terrible happened in this quiet place. Mr. Richardson, a rich farmer, arrived at the police station in tears, saying that two of his best cows were missing. There were three suspects, and each of them had to answer just one question. Have you taken your neighbor's animals? Mr. Anderson said that he had nothing to do with it, because he and Mr. Richardson had a common business, and he wouldn't risk their partnership. Mrs. Martinez stated that she had been living in this village since birth, and she wouldn't spoil her reputation because of some animals. And Mr. Jones explained that since his family had been breeding pigs for centuries, he didn't have any reasons to steal cows. The police officer managed to figure out who the criminal was. Can you? The thief is Mr. Jones. How did he know that it was cows that were stolen? Nobody had told him the animal species. Ms. Nelson, an art teacher at school, had to organize an event, and a big concert was a part of it. But the event had to take place the next day, and she still needed to find one more performer. There were several talented students at her school, and she decided to invite them. But Daniel, who played the guitar very well, told his teacher that he had lent his instrument to a friend and wouldn't get it back anytime soon. Sophia, who was an amazing singer, answered the teacher that she had a sore throat and couldn't sing at all. And Luna, who was a professional dancer, claimed that just a few days before, she had sprained her ankle and the doctor had prohibited her to move this leg too much. Ms. Nelson was very upset, but could do nothing to change the situation. But when she saw these three students at the concert the next day, she found out that one of them had lied to her. Who was it? And how did she understand it? Luna had lied to her teacher. If she had sprained her ankle, she wouldn't have been able to wear high heels. This matchstick equation seems correct. 9 minus 3 equals 6. But can you move just one matchstick to get another correct equation? You have 10 seconds to do it. There is not one but two correct answers here. 3 plus 3 equals 6, and 8 minus 3 equals 5. Emma's mother asked the girl to go to the supermarket and gave her a shopping list and a bank card. But in case Emma forgot the PIN of the credit card, her mom also gave her a little clue. When Emma was already at the register, she understood that she had indeed forgotten the PIN. Can you say what number it was if the clue was a sheet of paper with a fly, a cat, a girl, and a snake drawn on it? You have just 10 seconds to figure out the answer. The pin was 6420. Emma just had to count the numbers of legs of each creature. James came to visit his friend Ethan. The guys were chilling on the sofa, watching TV, eating pizza, and having some drinks. Suddenly, James' phone called. James had to leave for a while, and soon after his departure, Ethan felt unwell and fainted. When James returned, he saw that Ethan was lying on the floor and the apartment was in a mess. Ethan luckily came to his senses before the police arrived. He told the officer that the robbers had stolen all his money and electronics he kept in his safe. The only question the detective asked was if Ethan touched anything on the table after James had left. When he heard the negative answer, he immediately arrested James. Can you figure out why? There are ice cubes in the glasses on the table. If they had been the same drinks the friends had been drinking before James left, the ice would have melted long ago. It means that James put something in Ethan's glass to knock him out, took all the money and electronics, and replaced the drinks with fresh ones before the police arrived. Detective Jackson Jones was walking along the street when he heard people shouting. 
and saw an elderly lady sitting on the ground and people crowding around. It turned out that some man grabbed the lady's bag, pushed her to the ground, and sprinted away. The detective ran in the direction witnesses showed him, turned the corner, and saw three doors. He knocked on the first one, and the apartment owner, Daniel, opened the door. The man told Jones he had just returned from a five-mile-long run. A man called Jacob opened the second door. He said that he had been playing basketball in the backyard. And behind the third door, there was Mike, a musician. He explained that he had just finished composing a new piece of music. After visiting all these apartments, Detective Jones immediately realized who was the thief. Can you do the same within 10 seconds? The thief is Jacob. He claimed that he was playing basketball, but he was holding a football. Luke had an older brother who was always teasing him by calling him a baby. When Luke finally went to school, he hoped that his brother wouldn't call him little anymore. But when the boy returned home after the very first school day, his brother started again. Primary school is for babies. Everything you learn is so easy. Then Luke decided to teach his brother a lesson. Okay, then how about you solve a riddle our teacher gave us today? Luke's brother agreed without hesitation. If you take away half of this number, you'll get nothing. What is this number? Even after thinking for a while, Luke's brother didn't manage to solve the riddle. And can you do it in 10 seconds? This number is 8. Take away its top part and you'll get 0. Look at this table with numbers and, within 10 seconds, try to guess which number should go to the empty space. But I must give you a hint, it's not 6. This riddle tests your memory skills, and to be honest, it's a bit on the prank side. But if you answer that in the empty space, there should be the letter R, you're absolutely right! Because it's not some mathematic equation, it's a car's manual gear shift, and R stands for reverse. Three college friends met after a summer break. Lily described how she and her boyfriend had gone to Paris and seen the city from the top of the Eiffel Tower. Dylan told his friends that he had traveled to Africa with his parents. But on their last day, there was a massive volcanic eruption, and it didn't spoil the rest only because they flew home that day. And Ellie said that she had visited her uncle in Texas and learned to ride a horse very well. She even participated in some competitions. Of course, all the stories were great, but one of them was fake. Which one was it? Dylan's story is fake. He couldn't fly home on the day of the eruption, because when something like this happens, all flights get cancelled. <laughs>